Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, we are going to draw the fourth module, problems in the fourth module of KTU's University Examination on Engineering Graphics held on 16th July 2021. The first question in this module is to draw iso projection of isometric projection of a hexagonal prism 25 mm side 60 mm axis lying on the ground on a rectangular face isometric projection of a hexagonal prism 25 mm side 60 mm axis lying on the ground on a rectangular face first of all i draw a hexagon a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash what is the side 25 mm side then I inscribe it in a rectangle 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Now, I construct an isometric scale. How do you construct an isometric scale? Take the largest distance on the object. What is the largest distance? It is 60 mm, which is the length. I take 60, draw a 45 degree line there, draw a 15 degree line there. Here, you get a point there. You get a triangle. On this isometric scale, mark the subsequent distances. What are the other distances? 1, 2. Mark 1, 2 from here, you get a point. Draw a line parallel to this side through that, you get the corresponding iso length. So what is this? This is the iso length of 1, 2. 1, 2. I have marked here 1, 2. So this is the iso length of 1, 2. Then 1, 4. Mark 1, 4. Draw a line parallel, you get corresponding iso length of 1, 4. Take 1, F. 1, F. Iso length of 1F. Take 1A. One 1A. One get the iso length of 1A. Then, draw the vertical axis. Draw the two 30 degree axis. Then, take 2 here. Take the distance. Iso 1, 2. Where is Iso 1, 2? Iso 1, 2 is this. Take this and mark to this side. You get 1. Take the distance of Iso 1, 4. This is Iso 1, 4. Mark here. You get 3 there. Iso 1, 4 is Iso 1, 3. 1, 4 is 1, th uh, 2, 3. So, 2, 3 there. Through 3, through 3, draw a line parallel to this axis. Through 1, draw a line parallel to this particular axis. You get the point 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the isometric projection of this 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. I repeat. 1, 2, 3, 4 is the isometric projection of the rectangle 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Okay. On that... Take the distance of 1A, iso length of 1A and mark from 2 backwards, 1 forward, 3 backwards, 4 forward, to get what? A, B, D, E. Take the length of 1F, 1F, iso length of 1F, mark F and C. So you have got A, B, C, D, E, F. Connect them, you get a, you get the isometric projection of the front hexagonal face. Isometric projection of front hexagonal face. What is it? A, B, C, D, E, F. Then, through all these six points, draw lines parallel to this third axis, 30 degree axis. Lines. On those lines, take the distance of, this is 60, length is 60. Take the length of ISO 60. ISO 60 is available here. Mark from all these points to get the corresponding points of the back hexagonal face. Then connect them. These three lines become dotted. The line connecting A to this point is dotted. The line connecting F to this point is dotted. If you want, you can name them also. No problem. It can be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. If you do that, this can be A dash G, H, I, J, K, L. That which is not necessary at all. So you have drawn the ISO projection of ISO projection of the hexagonal prism lying down on the ground on a rectangular face. Now you have to mark dimensions. Actually, there are two methods of marking dimensions. One is if you simply write isometric projection, that statement is that word or that statement is equivalent to the scale. Agreed? The other alternative is to mark the dimensions. What are the dimensions? This distance. This distance you can mark. How much is it? It is not 25. It is 25 into 0 
816. What is this distance? This distance is 16 to 0 0.816. That completes the drawing. Writing isoprojection is equivalent to giving this decision. Then if you write isoprojection here, you can very well write 25 and 16. Iso writing isoprojection is equivalent to giving a scale in a drawing. But this is the most commonly used method that is given in textbooks and that is what teachers also usually follow. So this is the first problem in isometric or first problem in the fourth module of the question paper. Now we will do the second problem. The second problem is about a cylinder, a cylinder 50 mm diameter, 80 mm height standing on the ground, a cylinder 50 mm diameter, 80 mm height, uh, 80 mm height standing on the ground, on top of which a hemisphere of 70 mm diameter is resting like this, inverted with the flat face upwards, flat circular face upwards. You are asked to draw its isometric view. You are asked to draw its isometric view. There is no need of a plan or elevation in this case. There is, when do we draw plan or elevation or uh, views, ortho views in isometric? When such a view is necessary. When such a view is necessary for drawing the isometric view or isometric projection, we draw plan or elevation or even sometimes we will draw both. When it is not necessary, there is no need of drawing it and there is no mark allocation. In this particular case, it is not necessary to draw, draw plan or elevation of the combined solid. You can directly draw the ISO view. The question says, it says cylinder 50 mm diameter, 80 mm height. So we draw the two isometric axes, 30, 30, agreed, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, take what, 50 to this direction, 50 to this direction and complete what, complete a rhombus, agreed, then measure 80 up from all the four corners, Measure 80 mm up from all the four corners. And complete another rhombus. So you have got, I am drawing them very light because it's a cylinder, there is no box, so you have to draw them light. Now, inside these two rhombuses, you have to construct two ellipses to represent the base of the cylinder and top of the cylinder. How do we draw the ellipse? Draw the major axis, get the centers of the sides, connect them to the obtuse angles, do it here also. Now what? Draw ellipses. This is center, this is radius, draw an arc. This is center, this is radius, draw an arc. Then this is center, draw the arc. This is center, draw the arc. Do the same thing here, since you know it is going to be dotted. I am drawing part of them as dotted and part as firm. Then you have to 
you have to draw the two tangents on either sides which represents the cylinder you have drawn the cylinder now now this is the center of the top circular face center of the top circular face now from this particular point measure i 50 the diameter is this diameter is 50 this is the height 80 the hemisphere is 70 mm diameter measure 30 5 up this is o this is c through o draw two isolines two isolines measure 35 35 to all directions and you draw parallel lines What do you get? You get a rhombus. You get a rhombus. What is the side? 70 side. 70 side. Inside the rhombus, construct the ellipse. You know the method. Join the larger diagonal. Draw an arc. Draw an arc. This is the center. Draw the arc draw the arc. What is it? It is a top circular face of the hemisphere. Then this is center and this is radius. Draw a half circle. It passes through below C. Passes through below C. Now this part of the slab will not be visible. The remaining things will be visible. Now we will mark the dimensions. What are the dimensions? This is what? 50. This is what? 80. This is how much? 70 and this height is how much? 35. This height is 35. I hope you understood. Very simple question. Very simple question. This rhombus is 70 side. This rhombus is 50 side. This side is 80. This height from C to O is 35. You can see that this semicircle, half circle passes through below C. C is the point of contact of the hemisphere on the slab. But the curve will pass through below C. It will not pass through C. It will pass through below C. I hope it's clear. The mark split that can be if it is totally 10 mark. You can very well give 5 mark for the slab uh, prism, um, cylinder and 5 mark for the hemisphere. There is no isoscale, so there is no need of mark allocation for the isometric scale. This is an isometric view. Okay. Thank you.